10 Steps to Getting a Job in Civil Engineering Hello and welcome back to Civil Mentors. In today's video, you're going to learn how to get a job as a civil engineer. Civil engineers create, construct, and transform the world around us. They work on the building and upkeep of public works projects such as highways, canals, roads, trains, tunnels, airports, stadiums, and schools. You can specialize in a particular such as structures, coastal and marine, roads and infrastructure, railways, or wastewater treatment. To thrive in this competitive profession, you'll need a variety of abilities, including innovation and creative problem solving, as well as numeracy, IT, and good communication. Before we begin, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe us and turn on notifications to never miss any updates. Number 1. Attend a civil engineering open event. If you want to be sure that a career in civil engineering is right for you, an open day is a fantastic way to start. They're entertaining, typically free, offer you an idea of what the job entails, and give the disciplines some real-world perspective. Events like this also allow you to meet like-minded individuals, connect with potential employers, and discuss your training and career prospects. The Institution of Civil Engineers organizes events and institutions provide taster days to prospective students to give them an idea of what pursuing a degree in the field might be like. You'll meet people taking the course you're interested in, learn about course content and what they include, have a campus tour, and if you're lucky, participate in some hands-on activities. As a result of the epidemic, many such gatherings are now hosted online. Here. It is important to note that virtual events may still be really useful and educational, so don't give up the chance to attend. Check with professional organizations and particular institutions to discover what kinds of events they have. Number 2. Research your entry route Are you convinced that you want to be a civil engineer? The next stage is to figure out how you're going to get there. You have a few possibilities, but one thing is certain you will need proper credentials, which include a degree. You might also want to note that most colleges and universities offer undergraduate degrees in civil and structural engineering. If you don't think university is for you, how about an engineering internship? As a trainee, you will earn money while learning. Yes, I agree that it will take longer to become credentialed. However, you will receive vital hands-on experience along the way. So would you prefer an engineering internship? Number 3. Get Licensed as a Professional Engineer To provide civil engineering services, particularly to the public sector and municipal governments, you must get a professional engineer license. You must hold a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering from an authorized ABET school to be eligible for licensing. After graduation, you'll normally finish the PE licensure process by completing a Fundamentals of Engineering test. Number 4. Find the right course If you take the most common method of obtaining a university degree, you'll realize that no two degree programs are identical and that there are a plethora of schools and courses to choose from. When determining which program to pursue, make use of all available resources. You should also examine university rankings, especially the most recent Teaching Excellence Framework assessments to obtain a clearer understanding of the broader context of your selected institution's civil engineering department. However, don't become obsessed with a single league table. Universities come in all forms and sizes, and the institution that is most suited to you may not be at the top of the rankings. You should also look into certification, as in most cases your bachelor degree must be certified by ICE to become a certified civil engineer. I also suggest that you check with the Joint Board of Moderators to verify if the civil engineering course you want to take is recognized by professional groups. This signifies that the department has been evaluated and authorized by professional specialists and other academics during the previous five years. If you're still not sure, learn more about how to pick the correct degree and what you can accomplish with a civil engineering degree. Number 5. Get some work experience Some degree programs include a year in industry, which might help you network. However, if your program does not provide this option, you will have to get your own experience. Internships and job experience in civil engineering might help you stand out from the crowd. Meeting and working with individuals who are already doing it can give you a better picture of what your career may look like. 
Summer internships are available from a variety of organizations, including Lang O'Rourke, Network Rail, Babcock, and Transport for London. You may not be assigned the most interesting duties, but you will meet people who work in fast-paced environments and will be able to see what they do. If you're interested in a certain organization but can't locate any advertising work experience opportunities, submit a speculative application to inquire about their available openings. Number 6. Study for a Master's A postgraduate qualification is required if you want to become a successful engineer, and many civil designers study at the master's level, which normally lasts four years, allows you to combine undergraduate and postgraduate education. Alternatively, you might pursue a bachelor and then move on to a related master's degree. See which master's degree is best for you to learn more about the things to consider while selecting a postgraduate study. Look for civil engineering postgraduate courses. Number 7. Search for jobs on websites. The internet offers good and simple ways to contact clients and look for work. However, this has resulted in more completions and a rise in the number of candidates. Many websites collect engineering jobs in your region and your field. The more specific your search across websites, the higher your possibilities for success. Number 8. Join a professional body. The International Council of Engineers has over 95,000 members and offers students and postgraduate members status to aspiring civil engineers. Technician, member, fellow, and associate are higher categories of membership. Students and trainees are eligible for free membership. Joining a professional organization provides benefits such as improved job and career growth opportunities, access to professional training and certifications, and access to personalized assistance and networking events. You must pay £215.5 each year to enroll as a graduate. Number 9. Work towards chartered status. If you do not get the certificate in such a competitive and demanding subject, you may discover that your possibilities for career advancement are restricted. To become an ICE chartered member, you must complete three phases. The first is to pursue a Master Honours or Bachelor Honours degree, as well as a relevant postgraduate degree or to finish an appropriate employer-led learning program such as an internship. Before satisfying the criteria of the ICE Professional Review, you'll need to complete initial professional development, ideally through an ICE-approved training program. Number 10. The Cover Letter Let me tell you that your CV is the store window that reveals your potential to the company. But a cover letter is a sign that initially draws them in. The cover letter should state clearly the position the CV is for, as well as mention the job title and any references that have been provided. Essentially, a cover letter should assist your potential employer in properly directing your application. When submitting your CV online, it is a common professional practice to include a cover letter. I would highly suggest that first learn how to properly write a cover letter. You can find numerous articles on Google and videos on YouTube where experts tell you how you can write a cover letter that impresses its reader. Or you could also hire someone to do this job for you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, smash that like button and share it with your friends. Thank you for being here. See you in the next video. Until then, peace out.